Hey, genuine well wishers and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you a beloved and safe journey in 2022 and the subsequent years. In spite of the three waves of Corona, with the fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline in progress, all variants of cancer in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates, besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist and good hearted preacher, Professor S. Suresh, back with altruistic delight, enticed, excited, like an infant in one of the unknowns for my 199th video, 199, on Unveil of Publication on YouTube today, 29th November 2022, Tuesday. The topic for today is very much, uh, uh, I would say, essential or uh, necessary now, and so many people are fired from the jobs. The topic is higher and fire at it. I assure you my videos are short and sweet, worth every femto second of your precious time. We are mortal, but our videos are immortal. So we will live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever. Having published 199 videos, 199 so far, including this particular video for the benefit of society, that too, absolutely free. Higher. Start in a job or pay to do a particular piece of work. Engage for service under a term of contract. Employing a person for certain type of work spelled out clearly. Firing, the termination of someone's employment, leaving them free to depart. Terminate the employment of discharge from an office or position. In Western parlance, especially American, it is called pink slip, which happens in a jiffy, real quick, without any indication whatsoever, all of a sudden, like a bolt in the blue. Example, terminating employment for so many thousands of all around the globe, by sending one, just one email, Elon Musk, Twitter, USA. At will employment, layout is different from that employers will have to pay partial wages for the layoff period as per the prevailing labor rules. Is an employer's ability to dismiss an employee for any reason, that is, without having to establish just cause for termination without warning as long as the reason is not illegal. When an employee is acknowledged as being fired at will, Courts deny the employee any claim for loss resulting from the dismissal. At will employment gradually became the default rule under the common law of the employment contract in most U.S. states during the late 19th century and was endorsed by the U.S. Supreme Court during the Lokna era when members of the U.S. judiciary consciously sought to prevent government regulation of labor markets. Most states adhere to the general principle that employer and employee may contract for the dismissal protection they choose. At will employment remains controversial and remains a central topic of debate in the study of law and economics, especially with regard to the macroeconomic efficiency of allowing employers to summarily and arbitrarily terminate employees. In Japan, employment was from cradle to grave. That is, once a person joins a particular organization, he or stay will stay with an organization till death, since there is no fixed pre Retirement age. At will employment, also known as hire and fire at will, initiated in USA, spread like wildfire, and most of the countries now are practicing this in spite of its adverse effect on society and population. Psychopaths. Although the employment is considered a full time job, A clause in the contract makes it possible for employers to terminate the employment in a short duration. Prime causes of at-will employment. Manpower requirement is temporary to meet a set company quota for the number of employees hired annually. Getting desired candidates from a large pool of applicants. In IT field, benching is very common. That is, an employer hires people as standby. They are more people than what is really necessary to run their operations. To maintain the desired level of team performance by letting the worst performance leave based on performance appraisal. This is practiced by even educational institutes to improve the performance, the pass percentage in public exams, which is a selling point 
in the market. Some employers tend to employ a large number of employees at once in order to assess those who will adapt to the tasks faster and perform better. Then they filter and terminate them. Terminate the ones that uh, are bad in the job, they do not function properly and all that. Another reason employers hire to fire employees is to maximize the profit and minimize their expenses. A lot of managers would prefer to hire new staff and recycle them than promote the hardworking employees. Some companies or factories hold massive recruitments to meet increasing demands during certain seasons like holidays. Criticism. The doctrine of all at will employment has been heavily criticized for its severe harshness upon employees. It has also been criticized as predicted as predicated upon flawed assumptions about the inherent distribution of power and information in the employer-employee relationship. Employees will never be loyal to the employer if they follow this doctrine. At will employment has been identified as a season as a reason for the success of Silicon Valley as an entrepreneurial friendly environment in capitalist countries like USA. At will exceptions have a negative effect on the re-employment of terminated workers who are hard time finding replacement jobs. Most of the times they are forced to settle down for a low level job with a reduced monetary compensation not compatible to their qualification, experience and skills. Under employment, really. Employers become more reluctant to hire employees if they are certain about their ability to immediately fire them. Employment protection laws can be welfare enhancing when principal agent relationships are plagued by asymmetric information. Organizations may practice outsourcing, also known as back office operations, BPO. That is business process outsourcing, really, or subcontracting instead, which is legal, no force barred. Adverse effects. Hire and fire, in other words, is hire to fire. Common disadvantages of hiring to fire employees include a high turnover rate, distress towards the organization by prospective employees and a toxic workspace. People are dependent on the job they hold. One has to maintain a certain standard of living. Hire and fire at will lands the individuals and their families in dire straits. COVID-19 led to people losing their employment and unemployment. The effect similar to sudden termination of employment. Some families even committed suicide. People without any job all of a sudden become drug addicts and indulge in substance abuse. Ladies resort to flesh trade, also known as commercial sex work, CSW. That is commercial sex workers. People lose their mental stability. People turn against the government, that is anti-government. Even educated people change sides out of sheer frustration. The society calls them Naxalites, Maoists, terrorists. Fire employees become violent and indulge in criminal activities like killing their employer, thefts and even murdering innocents for financial gains. Some turn as hired assassins, also known as contract killers, especially youngsters. Majority of these group are teenagers, adolescents, less than 18 years old, since as per the rules, juveniles cannot be sent to jail, and they are sent to so-called correction centers. They develop intimacy with the real criminals and graduate as professional criminals when they get out of these places. So-called correction centers. It's not correction center. The worst pain, suffering in poverty, hunger, is hunger, poverty, especially at Yenge. In Tamil we say, Kodidu, Kodidu, Elamayal, Varamai Kodidu. That is Avaya said, if we know who Avaya is. 
violations of company policies and budget cuts are the major reasons companies use as a motive to fire employees. People, unskilled assholes, fired especially from IT companies will resort to all kinds of cyber crimes, commencing with the illegal hacking. Hacking is already happening, it will happen more. There will be exponential increase rather. Debates, discussion on open ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyhow, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements, views expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of personal experience. Always watch these videos with closed caption, subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension. As for my sincere recommendation, zillion times so far, I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. This time limit is self imposed um, to read in the viewer's attention as a now. The attention span is very limited, even for human beings, hardly 20 minutes. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to unnatural, natural, unnatural, maybe bio war and cyber war events like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays away for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of others. For no fault of this, rest in peace and harmony. <coughs>